G'day guys and girls, it's story time. So we had this FG come to us today. Um, this one had a water meth system previously installed by the customer and wanted us to get it sorted and make some sort of fail safe. But I'll, I'll run you through the system. So this is done by Green Brothers in New Zealand. The kit retails for around the $580 mark, plus taxes and so on. But So it's a very, very cheap and simple kit. Very, very simple. Some people might not like it because it's too simple. Um, it's probably not what I would recommend for a barra. There are other systems on the market that I do prefer, being a direct port system. But if you've got room restraints, um, short intake tracks and stuff like that, I just think this system's pretty damn simple and it, and it works quite effective. So the way the system works is you've got your bottle here. It doesn't have an, a, a, a pump. It's got your float level here. It's got a hob switch adjustable, which will be what activates the MAC valve and then the MAC valve basically turns on and we pretty much lets the fluid go through the main jet which is in the intake. Now how it works is it uses boost pressure from the from either the hot side or the cold side, it doesn't really matter. This basically goes through here and then into the top, pressurising this bottle and once the bottle is pressurised it then pushes out the fluid which then comes on the other side of the MAC valve which then pushes through into the jet which is activated by the hob switch over here, which you determine whether you want it to come on at five pound, eight pound, whatever, it's up to you, that's adjustable. But it isn't progressive, it is basically on or off. So when I say this system is simple, it is absolutely simple. As far as fail safes go, it doesn't have anything built into it other than the fact that it's got a float level. Now what we did in this case, we used the float level to activate a circuit, a relay, um, which turns off the boost control solenoid. So if this thing runs out of fluid, it's going to remove the boost, but look, it's not the way to do it, but the, it's gonna basically force an engine light on in the car. The customer's gonna say, hey, there's a problem. He's gonna go out and look at it. Um, it's not something that I would be comfortable to set up on our own customers' cars, but it, it, did, it does work. And as long as you're a sensible driver then, or a sensible operator, then you should be able to know there's a problem and you know, you know, get off it and go out and check it. But you know, the, the, there are other systems out there that have full fail safes in it. Um, the Acromis system is quite good in that sense. It's got multiple fail safes. So it's pretty much bulletproof. If there's a problem, you, you shut it down, you switch the map in the ECU and away you go. But the, that's another that's another video another story but this system here is very very simple so no pump no nothing so it works well uh, if you've got like a, a supercharged lsa or like a nissan patrol with a with a turbo on it with a short intake track where you'd be basically taking the pipe from here and going straight into the intake and it's quite short then you know this system would be quite effective and you know anything up to that sort of you know, like 200, 250 kilowatt mark, it'd be bloody awesome. And, you know, you could make a lot more power with this system, but I just thought it's pretty cool. It's full mechanical with the exception of, you know, a Mac valve and a, and a hob switch. So, but there's the video. Um, I just had to share it. There's the plug for these guys. Um, that's their website. It is greenbrothers.com.newzealand. There's the price, 587. I'm not sure what jetting, op you know, they come with but you know it's, it's a pretty cool kit it's the dyno sheet for this car um because of where the po the jet is in the pipe and the intake we do have to be quite conservative through here so the, the tune in this car is pretty much the 98 tune as it approaches sort of 3000 and then once we're confident that we have a good mix going into the into the plenum through the throttle then that's when it, you see it starts to become more lineal so from pretty much you know if i pull it back from sort of here which is 3800 onwards this car is, is working really efficient, lots of timing in it, and it just, it works great. But, you know, leading up to it, we've got to be quite sensible as a tuner and don't command or, or request too much because, you know, things can go wrong at that point. But, you know, it, like I said, it's a very basic primitive system. It's not progressive. It's simply on or off. It goes through the intake. It doesn't go on the boost pipe. Cheap and nasty, that's how it works. But you know what? It gets the job done and it works. So if you've got something with a tight restraint, by all means, you know, you don't have the room or anything like that, don't want to put a pump in it, or want it just a simple plain Jane system, mate, this Green Brothers sit, it works. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.